Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing today? I want to talk about some stuff today. I'm going to play some songs because all I've been doing is, is learning, man. I mean, learning a lot. And... <laughs> It's not just Ted Nugent that I've been learning. I mean, I, for some reason, uh, songs and they just get I, I i like kind of like after i do these videos i i really just go I, i've been playing like i said i do have another guitar that's still in a box and i've just past couple of days i've just been so into playing i'm like whatever you know because i've just been hearing new things over and over and a lot of this is from in my mind anyway from when my brain broke because when I when they gave me when this first started and they first gave me chemo and radiation, I seriously like uh, my brain seriously broke and uh, I used to be the complete opposite than I am now. I used to be so into words and stuff that I would be able to tell you every word to every song, no matter what. Now. I, and I couldn't play for crap. I mean, I, I was I was the world's worst okayest guitar player. I mean, I was horrible. And um, I'm still horrible, but at least I'm getting better. And it's just so weird that that before, I, I there was no way I could remember chord progressions. And now I'm just, like, drawn to them. And it's like, but I can't remember the words of the songs anymore. Oh, man. And I got another chemo session coming up on Monday. At least it's Monday this week, and it's going to start early so we can get done Wednesday so I can get out of there. But I just wanted to talk about how weird this whole thing is because it is just... I'm trying to go with it, man. I'm just trying to go with it. That's why, you know, I, you know, I always look up and, and you know, all, all the the spiritual stuff, I'm definitely into that. But a lot of it is that I've had to learn to just let go. I can't do things so i have to let go now and it's like y y you try and let go of the last like 20 something years of your life because that's this computer stuff i can't do it anymore and it's like that's part of my life that i have to let go of because at least for now because i can't do it and instead of driving myself crazy about it um i'm just diving into this stuff now and, and getting Hopefully a little bit better with the... Do you remember back in 1966? Country Jesus, so everything is that's how I remember how it works. 
I just wanted to try and explain that a little bit about how my brain is not, I say it's not functioning, but it's functioning in a just completely different way. So when that happens, you kind of shut down a little bit of one part because it's like, oh my God, I can't do this. So you really do kind of panic. It's like, is it my entire brain? And then I'm trying figuring out that no, it's actually not. And that... <laughs> I can actually do a lot other uh, I can do a lot of other things now that I couldn't do before so That's why I say I'm a cancer thriver because I'm this is like a an amazing journey to me and I've just I keep going and it's it's that's you know what keeps me me my driving force is definitely the music and uh it's also the whole bizarreness of, of all this how it's coming together anyways if y'all could subscribe that'd be cool i'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers so i can give away a guitar that's my goal it's a b-hag i know that and that's my whole commercial that's it that's all anyways I think that was about it for the for the video too cuz it was just like I said the bizarreness of of when your brain breaks and then you know having a brain that that is capable of seeing all that is also bizarre because like I keep trying to tell the psychiatrists and the the spiritual people and all that and I think I'm starting to come to an understanding here and they're not really voices in my head but I do I can be an objective observer in my own head, which is also bizarre, but I can watch myself doing things and go, dude, why are you doing that? And it's just, instead of freaking out about having split personalities, it's just something inside of me that's there to help, you know? And uh, I have to try and figure all this. Well, as the, one of the spiritual, as the spiritual advisor that I've been seeing is back now, I would have been seeing a, uh, a fill-in, but uh, she said that, you know, when this happened to you and this with the spirituality thing coming into it, you were overwhelmed, dude. You were just overwhelmed and you're still trying to figure this stuff out. And I think she's absolutely 100% correct. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to figure it out and, you know, just keep going with this cancer thing and get it out of me and we'll, you know, try and go from there. Anyways, like I said, always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you there. Sorry for going so long. Thanks if you stuck with me, man. And like I said, always look up. He's there for you, and I'll see you then. Peace.